are good for something <laughs> they have to wash her hair wash her every three days and it gets to the point where at on the third day her hair is dripping in oil just dripping and I've actually gotten a rash on my cheek from having her hair touch my face a really bad rash that lasted like a day <laughs> yeah I gotta make her another bottle. She's just drinking the last of this one. And Raphael's hair still looks good this morning. He has a very nice outfit on. And hopefully, I think, we're gonna go to the Sandy Park today. We're just going to right now. Uh, we have to wait until baby sister is fed and has a bath. And I have to finish editing. And then we could probably go. Because that's all I have to do. I already cleaned the house. Oh, I have laundry to do. Um, I have to fold a load of laundry <coughs> and put it away. But that's it. Bloop. And wash the crock pot. And then, uh... But we'll probably go before that. I'll just do that when we get back home. You feeling good? Yeah. Yeah? You want to play in the sandy park? Yeah. With your sand toys? Yes. Go get your sand toys ready. I need my three sand toys yeah. to go to the sand park. Yep. Go ahead and get them. The, oh, the grass park be my not for... We can go to the grass park, too. The grass park? Yeah, go get your sand toys. With the blue slide. Not the blue slide, just the one down the street with the sand. Okay, she's done with this bottle. Let me go get another bottle. <laughs> I'm kind of trapped in here for about an hour while she's eating and and throwing up. I have the camera. We're just going to go to the park as is, dirt and all, and then we'll come back and take a bath. Yeah. And we're going to go play now and sit out in the... Um, sun, get some sun. Yes. All right, let's go. Right, let's well, we go. got a basket full of goodies to play in the dirt. I need to go over there. No, we're going to stay right here. See where the dirt is? Yeah. You're going to play in the dirt right here with your sand toys. Almost is get this. Very good. Yeah, I got baby girl here with a blanket. I'm gonna put her in the sun for a little bit, and the sun is right here. Oh, and I brought the clothes basket to carry everything, and that was pretty easy because Raphael was able to carry this while I carried the baby. So because there was only sand toys and and a bottle and a blanket in there, so it's good. Oh yeah, good job. Yeah. I found one rock. The rock. I found the rock. There's one rock. <laughs> There's almost one in the sand. Almost. Almost done, Mommy. Build whatever you want. I found one more rock. One more rock. Here's one more rock. Mm -hmm. Right there. That's able to be dog rock, poop, poopy rock.
say the word I will be there, I will be there with my hands held high and I will reach to the sky Oh, oh I've got my feet on the ground I'm going to put her partially in the sun for a few minutes so she gets some good sun. And yes, there's flies everywhere. Thing about Israel, lots of stray cats, lots of flies. And she was touching the grass earlier. Yeah, you're getting that tummy time. I'm just going to put her here for a few minutes. I'm oh my goose, sis. That's good. Good job. Wow. Yeah, I think she's about to have had enough. What's that, a sand table? I've got my feet on the ground. Oh, it spins. <laughs> okay. Wow. Yeah. Keep climbing. Woo. I did it. <laughs> Good job. Yes. Oh, this cat. Oh, yeah. See there. Oh, no. It's pooping. Oh, God. That's where kids play. Maybe this is not a good idea because you get creeping eruptions from that. Ugh. What a rude cat. All right, leave it alone. Leave it alone. Ugh. Is that a Hitler cat? It is. It's a Hitler cat. Rude cat. A rude cat is rude. Oh, there's a turd right there. My goodness, what a turdy park. Congratulations on your turdy park. A rude kitty is rude. Getting hungry. I didn't know to get up there. I'm up there again. Woohoo! <laughs> not gonna fall down. I'm not trip myself. Look at myself. I see yourself. Yes. <laughs> Wow. Can I climb down? Yes. Yes, I can. You're a big boy. Amazing. You are amazing. Daddy's excited to go here. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I could go here? Yeah. Yeah, climb up it. You can do it. Oh, I think you have to be taller. Oh, keep going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> oh, yeah, you think you have to be really tall to get up there. Oh, no. No, you really did. Yeah. Maybe I could go this Yeah. 
Yeah. That's good figuring out skills. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I could go. Uh oh. I think I have two, maybe three more diapers left. Um, disposable diapers and then we're starting on the cloth diapers so we already have everything that we need except for we have a, a diaper sprayer to spray the poop out in the toilet but we have an electronic toilet um, in both of the bathrooms we figured out and there is no hookup anywhere because of the way they tiled it okay go ahead there is no hookup for a sprayer so I don't know how we're going to do that without a sprayer. And I'm not sticking my hand in the toilet because that makes me gag and throw up. Um, I can clean a toilet, no problem, but I cannot stick my hand in a toilet and I can't throw up in a toilet unless I'm like standing. Like I can't bend over into a toilet because it makes me gag harder and makes my throwing up experience bad. But um, how I'm going to clean these diapers, I have no idea. Because we don't have a utility room sink either. Um, in our last apartment, we did have a utility room sink. So if I wanted to soak the diapers um, for any reason to like get the fish smell out of them, because eventually they start smelling like fish and you have to strip them, I could do it in that utility room sink. And it was really big and everything. But I'm going to get some sun here now through the trees on my face. Usually that helps my chin. This is definitely hormonal breakout though, and I've had it for since Raphael's been born. <laughs> so for years, I've gotten it. As soon as my health is like good, I mean, I feel really good, but my health is not good right now. My breathing is under control and I have not gotten fatigue back since I have gotten my breathing under control. So I'm thinking maybe my fatigue was actually caused from not being able to breathe. So, I can breathe now and I feel really good. He's playing on this big wooden thing over here now. This is a really nice park, but people don't go to it until like 6 o'clock in the evening or on the weekends. They go to it all day. Yeah, when, when the kids are in the gone, the streets are dead <laughs> of children. But when they're out for break, the kids are like all over this stuff. And across the way here, there's an adult park for adult exercise equipment. But usually the um, ultra-orthodox use it because there is a, I believe it's called a yeshiva, yeshi, yeshiva, yeshiva, um, I believe that's what it's called. It is a school that men go to to study the Torah, which is the Jewish Bible. And they study it all day long there, so... All right, the flies are getting out of control, so I don't know how long we're going to stay here. We've been here probably like 45 minutes so far. And it's nice and it's not hot. I'm sweaty, but it's not hot here. It's pretty cool, actually. And the grass that I'm sitting on is just slightly damp. So it's nice and cool here. It's really nice. And I got the bottle propped up right here. I'm sitting here with her, so she's just sucking on it for fun. Yeah, the flies are getting out of control. I've been swatting them off of her. You can see the orthodox kids over there. It's a yeshiva. And um, the I guess they're the teachers. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I think they're going to be coming over here and play. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Raphael's having a great time now. He's got all these kids to play with. <laughs> oh my gooses. <laughs> Okay, another group of kids came, so it was complete chaos, and I wasn't able to keep track of my kid. But none of the kids were wearing a solid red shirt, so that was easier, but 
it was really hard to keep track of where Raphael was with all those kids around and I didn't want him leaving the park or something or somebody taking him but oh, that was fun he enjoyed himself but he didn't um, play with any kids he was just really excited that they were there but he didn't actually play with them and those kids I guess they sing and chant all day long because that's all they were doing was singing and chanting all of them <laughs> it was weird really weird sounding like a like bees or something <laughs> it was weird oh uh, talk to the kids oh you talk hold on oh dang it sweaty what i don't want to get sweaty you don't want to we're well, already sweaty. I told you we're going to, you know, wear junk clothes here. Yeah, and then we're going to come back and we're going to go swimming. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, let's we go. We have to clean the pool out yeah. first. Yeah, we're going to fill it up with water today. And clean it. And get, we're going to go swimming. You ready? Yeah. Okay. I. Sorry, guys. I realized the... Uh, uh, what do you call it? The exposure was really, really, really super high because I was out there with like backlighting, so I had to turn the exposure up. And then every time I do that, it makes it like really, um, my face is solid white, so you can't really see anything. I gotta go home and do my nails too. You know, I'm doing good, like mentally, when my nails are long, even if my fingernail polish is tore up. I'm doing good mentally, uh, like with anxiety and everything when my nails are long because I don't bite them. When I bite them, that's when I'm not doing well in my head, my emotions and stuff. But I'm doing super good. I don't feel like postpartum depression. I feel so good. One of the main reasons I feel good is I'm not fatigued. And the fatigue was like really, it was ruining my life along with not being able to breathe. And right now I can breathe and I, had, I don't have fatigue. So I feel like I can do anything that I want, except now my leg muscles are really weak. So once I get the vitamin thing figured out and everything's good, I should be like well on my way. Oh no, she's um, pooping. She's pooping? Yeah. Well, good. I didn't change her diaper yet. I'm going to go see a surgeon on Sundays, which is uh, about four days from now. Three days from now? I don't know. But I'm going to go see a surgeon and I will let you know what I find out from that. And it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be a bad thing. It should be a good thing. So we'll see. Oh, here they are again. All right. So that's what she did in her car seat. Yeah, she mustarded her everywhere. Just squeezed right out. Uh, first really bad explosion. So time for a bath. Now this has got to feel good after you poop your pants. Yeah, you just relaxing? Is that nice? That's nice, isn't it? Are you hot? No. Raphael stubbed his toe. So he's a little upset. Stubbed his toe on the door. Hi. You want to go swimming? Yeah. Go ahead and take your shirt off. We're going to be ready in just a minute, okay? I'll get a swimming pants. Yeah, you already have swimming pants on. That's why we dress like that, huh? I mean, so go cute. swimming with a swimming pants. Yeah, these are your swimming pants. Good job. Go go swimming! Woohoo! I want to swim with one in the water, too. Let's see. Hmm. I got some sun on my cheeks only. Of course not my chin. Of course not, little girl. Continued. Could be continued. To be continued. To be continued. To be continued. To be. To be continued. Very good. You aren't subscribed yet? Please subscribe and like. Comment and share. Fully living. Can we deal with that? Yes, parsley. A little girl I like to call Bessie. So here's his haircut to wrap.